What do all these games have in common? Well, they're all on discs, really. So, I figured I might as well do a little video on how different consoles react when you put in different discs. Let's start off the good old PS2. Stick a GameCube game in. Oh, turn the sound system on. Oh, good. Just a minute. Okay, after rearranging some wires on the stereo, let's see how well, the PlayStation 2 reacts to having a GameCube disc in it. discrete error. It prints like a DVD. So, oh, well, Xbox 360. Probably gonna do the same thing. Treat it like a DVD. I expect it will. Xbox 360. So, finally, well, not finally, I still got the PS2 discs and the PSX disc put in. And unfortunately, I don't have Dreamcast, Saturn, 
Sega CD or any of those other things. Let's try putting Skyward Sword in there. I've never put a, a uh, Wii disc in a DVD player before. This is going to be interesting. Just the camera a little bit. Reading disc, reading disc, reading disc. Digital zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it's probably not going to read it. Yep, disc read error just like with the uh, GameCube. Well, that was fun. Now, that'll get solid two. We all know how this is going to turn out. PlayStation 2 disc. Yep. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in there. Oh, I forgot. PS2 CD discs. <clears throat> and I gotta reset the PS2. Starts up like a PlayStation disc. So now, stick Grow Lancer 2 in there. Funnily enough, this has a soft reset for DVDs, but not games. Or what is at least essentially a soft reset. Yep, starts up as Grow Lancer 2. So, anyways. By the way, yeah, I am planning on playing that for the channel. I'm just in. Yeah. Come on, PS2, turn off. Not that AV3. Oh, I don't have the Xbox hooked up. Dull. Okay. Yeah, so anyways. Let's 
this uh, switch to AV2 and uh, try out the PlayStation. Hmm? Stick left for dead in the PlayStation. <laughs> By the way, I did. I've got this in there so that you can see it actually spinning. No. Yep, it knows it's not supposed to have that in there. Let's uh, try and find the dual shock. <laughs> Where the hell is that thing? I keep losing it. I've got all my controllers over here, and I keep losing the bull shock. Okay, let's trace the wire back. And somehow it's over here. Yeah, it knows it's not supposed to have a DVD EDL in there. Let's put Left 4 Dead back in its case. Okie dokie. Since that was a bust, it's probably going to do the same with the uh, well, the everything that isn't PlayStation which is most of this. Let's put uh, Girl Lancer 2 into the PlayStation. Girl Lancer 1 was on the PlayStation, and Girl Lancer 2 and 3 were on the... It's spin it up to see like an actual PlayStation disc. Now we got that uh, red screen of death. Very well, let's stick that back in its case. It's probably going to have the same effect with uh, Doom 3, Skyward Sword, Resident Evil, and Metal Gear Solid 2 that it had with uh, Left 4 Dead, but I might as well. I'm just going to try it anyways. Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, it's moving and essentially in like the uh like it was uh, you know like left for dead. Da -da. Oh, sticking Resident Evil Disc 2 in there. Huh, now that spun twice. You know, for fun, let's try sticking yeah, let's say Wind Waker in there instead. Now it spins the same way. Thank you. Well, now it's probably an exercise in futility, but let's stick Doom 3 in. Yeah, 
it's moving exactly the same way as Left 4 Dead and uh, MGS2. Well, let's stick Skyward Sword in. Not the music CD. Skyward Sword. Yeah, moving exactly the same. Well, now. Batteries back in the controller and uh, try out some stuff on the Xbox 360, eh? And uh, uh, Skyward Sword. Okay, it acts, like, it acts like there isn't a disc in there. Now, Doom 3. Now, disclaimer, I do not have this connected to the internet or um, whatsoever, so... I don't have any backwards compatibility stuff downloaded. Oh, play Doom 3. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a hard drive for this because it didn't come with one. Yeah, that's that. MGS2. I hate it that it starts with the welcome screen, not the, uh, and not this, and I hate that it keeps signing me out. Hmm. Reads MGS2 as a mixed media disc. Hmm. Why does it keep doing this? No, never mind. I guess the only option I have is to eject. And then it switches right back to the roof. I wonder if there's a way I could trick it into thinking that uh, Xbox games are DVDs. Well, so now. Eagle in. I honestly don't know how they expect you to put mini DVDs into that when it's vertically vertical. Yeah, it acts like there isn't a disc in there. Philosopher's Stone. And it's probably going to read it as a music CD. 
Why is it reading it as a music CD? Everything reads it as a music CD. Hold on, let me try here. And what's that? Anyways. So it doesn't read it as a music CD. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Also, by the way, I'm not putting discs into the GameCube because the GameCube can't support uh, anything other than uh, mini DVDs. So that's just if you're wondering. CD based. PS2 game. That. That is weird. Yeah, next media disc. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. No. doesn't have any video. Yeah, I thought not. So, then everybody knows what it does when you put an Xbox 360 disc in, so I figure I'm just going to skip that like I skipped putting a PlayStation disc in the PlayStation. Now it's about time to hook the uh, Xbox up so I can show you that, or else I could skip to the Wii now. Now I'm going to do the Xbox now. Disconnect the N64 and find the Xbox cables. And there they are. We'll get up to the game switch again. So first things first. This thing. It's probably going to read the uh, Xbox 360 disc as a video DVD. Philosopher's Stone is next. It certainly should recognize it as a uh, Audio D C D. Oh, now left for dead.
says Xbox, and then what? Cuts the. Yep, video DVD is what it thinks it is. And the Xbox has soft reset for everything. You just press the eject button. GS3. MGS2, rather. I don't know. Then everyone knows. Yeah, you can't recognize the disc. Okay, I figured that. I'm not going to bother with an Xbox disc, like I said, because it, you know how that starts up. So anyways, finish it off, Skyward Sword. I'm going to batteries in the Wii Remote. Generations is going to wind up the same way, so I might as well not even bother. Skyward Sword probably will too, but. Yeah, can't recognize it. Thought that. That's how it is when you have a uh, GameCube DVD in the Wii. Here is can't read any discs other than, well, okay, I mean, technically the Wii can read DVDs, it's just not possible with my model and with the stock firmware. Is I got a uh, black Wii. So anyways, um, 
Yeah. Now that's essentially the it right there. For, um, yeah. See you later with uh, more videos.